If you have been following my channel for some time, you might have noticed that whenever I am reviewing a model after installing it, I normally use the MMLU benchmark. MMLU stands for Massive Multitask Language Understanding. It is a benchmark that evaluates a text model's multitask accuracy by testing its language understanding across multiple domains. It covers 57 tasks across various subjects, including maths, history, computer science, law, ethics, biochemistry, physics, economics, maths, medicine, astronomy, and a lot more. The MMLU benchmark provides a way to test and compare various language models and can be used to analyze models across many tasks and to identify important shortcomings. In recent years, advancement in large language models or LLMs in short have significantly transformed the field of NLP or natural language processing. These models, including state-of-the-art examples like GPT-4, Gemini, Claude, Mistral, Mixtral, are pushing the envelope both in general applicability across various tasks and specialized performance in specific areas. A key objective in this ongoing development is achieving expert level or human level intelligence characterized by a performance that meets or surpass the top 10 percent of skilled adults in a diverse range of tasks to effectively track the progress towards the goal of this expert level intelligence it is very important to evaluate these models on a broad range of tasks and there are multiple popular benchmarks used to measure such general intelligence. For example, in addition to MMLU, which I just uh, described, we have AGI eval that focuses on general exam questions from SAT, GRE, and various other. Then we have ARC, which focuses on science-based questions. We have BBH that focuses on solving hard synthetic tasks, and then we already discussed that MMLU includes a broad range of exam questions from 57 subjects across science, technology, engineering, and maths plus social sciences. Among these benchmarks, MMLU has emerged as a de facto standard for evaluating LLMs due to its broad coverage and high quality. But the rapid progress of current LLMs has quickly led to performance saturation on MMLU. Since GPT-4 has achieved 86.4% in March 2023, there has not been any significant progress on the benchmark. Most recent frontier models like GPT-4 Turbo, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Anthropics Claude, Llama 3, 400 billion, they have all settled an accuracy between 86% to 87%, which is not different from last year. Also, the recently published GPT-4O has achieved remarkable performance boost like 10% improvement on math, chatbot arena, but on MMLU, it is just 87%, so which is only 1% improvement from last year. This leads us to re-examine the effectiveness of MMLU, which we are seeing in this paper by these researchers in measuring future LLMs. Also, besides the saturation issue, the performance on MMLU is also known to be highly sensitive to the prompt and scoring function, which causes significant order changes in the leaderboard. So that is why there are a lot of issues which have been identified by a lot of people. For example, in this research paper, these researchers have come up with a lot of issues, including that uh, the questions in MMLU only have three distractor options. LLMs could potentially exploit shortcuts to derive the answer without truly really understanding the rationale, and that could lead to an overestimation of LLMs to performance. That also leads to a degree of instability. Then we have the questions in MMLU that are mostly knowledge driven without requiring too much reasoning, especially in the science and technology that reduces its difficulty. Also, most models achieve better performance with direct answer prediction without chain of thought and that's a big issue so that is where uh, mmlu pro comes into picture which is a topic of uh, this really good and timely paper mmlu pro is a comprehensive benchmark designed for pro efficient level multidiscipline language understanding and reasoning mmlu pro spans 14 diverse domains including maths physics chemistry 
law, engineering, psychology, and health. And this encompasses over 12,000 questions, thus meeting the breadth requirement. MMLU Pro is distinctive from ML, MMLU in a lot of areas. For example, I will just list top three. First, MMLU Pro has 10 options, which contains three times more distractors than MMLU. By increasing the distractor number, the researchers in this paper have significantly reduced the probability of correct guess by chance to boost the benchmark difficulty and robustness. Secondly, MMLU Pro increases a portion of challenging college level exam problems. These questions require LLM to perform deliberate reasoning in different domains to derive the final answer. Thirdly, they have integrated two rounds of expert reviews to reduce the noise of dataset. The first round is based on expert verification and in the second round, they have utilized the SOTA LLMs to identify potential errors and employ annotators to perform more targeted verification. So, all in all, I think this MMLU Pro necessitates chain of thought to achieve promising results. For instance, chain of thought can boost the performance of GPT-4 by 19%. So this is, I guess, amazing, amazing feat. I am very excited to, uh, you know, um, look at this research, even if it, you know, it manages to improve the chain of thought. So I believe this is going to be huge because this MMLU Pro is a more challenging benchmark designed to elevate the assessment of multitask language understanding capabilities in LLMs. By incorporating more complex reasoning intensive tasks, MMLU Pro addresses the performance saturation observed in previous benchmarks effectively differentiating models capabilities. And also they have shared some of the evaluations in this paper and I will drop the link in video description where they have shown that even leading models like GPT-40 encounter significant challenges. So that is where MMLU Pro enhances its robustness by reducing dependency on prompt styles, making it a valuable tool for advancing our understanding of AI language capabilities. And as AI technology evolves, I really am more than sure that this MMLU Pro is going to be huge and we will see it more and more part of lot of benchmarking of upcoming LLMs. That's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, what do you think? Uh, let me know. Especially I'm very keen to know that if you are currently using MMLU for the benchmarking your own fine-tuned LLMs. If you do, let me know what do you think about it. Do you agree with, this, uh, with the challenges which I mentioned? Uh, and how do you think MMLU Pro is going to make your make the quality of your models more robust that's it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching